Aaron, welcome in. Steve Phillips, Harold Reynolds, how are you? Hey, I'm doing all right, man. How are you guys doing? Good, doing great. Doing great. So tell us, so Go what's ahead. going on Go there? Ahead. Good, I appreciate oh, it. So, we, 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 so kind of I like, thought okay, I was going well, yeah, well. to lay out for my buddy here, no. Harold. So, so Aaron, so what's going on? Like uh, the golf game for you. I understand, I've heard a lot of stories about you on the golf course that you're an outstanding golfer. How's your golf game right now? Uh, it's okay. You know, uh, I'm just excited to get out here and, and play uh, with all these guys and, uh, of course, the LPGA players. Yeah, well, I, I heard that your wife's uh, uncle – would think different. So uh, you're married to Tiger Woods' niece, right? You ever play with yes, Tiger? Yes, I'm, I'm married to she Yeah, I'm married to Cheyenne, so I, I get to play with an LPGA player quite often. Um, and uh, I tell you what, it, it's fun. It's fun and humbling at the same time. So tell me about the first time you played with him. Like he said, hey, Aaron, come play some golf with me. Were you nervous? Uh, I haven't had the opportunity to play with him yet. I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity yet. No. Nah, um, only, only got to play with my wife. So, but uh, as soon as I get that invite, I'm sure going to be excited for it. Good oh, for you. So, wait, you're going to have a gallery here at this tournament, right? So, there's going to be people uh, along the mm -hmm. edge of the fairway. Uh, more pressure, golfing and hitting a tee shot here in this tournament with a gallery there, or facing a a Garrett Cole fastball uh, at Camden Yards. <laughs> I mean, uh, I tell you what, it, it's it's definitely difficult um, hitting a golf ball in front of people, uh, you know, especially when there's a lot of people uh, around you, and uh, it's definitely a little bit more nerve-wracking. So being a switch hitter, Aaron, I'm, I'm confident of this, that you are a natural right-hand hitter. So you probably golf right-handed. Have you ever tried to hit left? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it didn't go very well. Uh, <laughs> a lot of slices and chunks, so it didn't go great. That is something else. Hey, so, so go, go ahead, Steve. What, what's going on with free agency for you? And, and obviously kind of a tale of two seasons last year, an opportunity there in Baltimore. But where, where are you right now in free agency and trying to find and land a spot for the 2024 season? Uh, I think we're in a pretty solid spot. Um, I got some teams interested. So right now I'm kind of just waiting, um, you know, for the right opportunity to present itself and then uh, go from there. So, so, Aaron, we often – we're looking at your numbers right now. Clearly Baltimore was a nice – change of scenery for you. And we talk about that mm -hmm. a lot, right? Hey, maybe he needs a change of scenery. Um, you're, you're looking at what you did and getting a chance to see you in Baltimore. Clearly that was a big deal. Why do you think sometimes mm -hmm. players need a change of scenery? I, I don't know. Just maybe just different, uh, different people around you, different uh, environment, um, different uh, teammates. You know, I mean, it's just a lot of it is different. I mean, um, you know, Baltimore was, was amazing. And, you know, I had a great opportunity there with those guys and, um, to be with that team, um, you know, that was winning. It was, it was, man, it, it was just the right team for me at the right time. And, uh, you know, to go there with such young players and, uh, ultimately came, kind of gave me a little bit more, you know, energy to, to, um, to, to kind of, you know, prove, prove to those guys that, uh, um, you no, know, I'm excited to play for that team and help them win. So um, the highlight right there kept throwing me because we showed you hit the ball and then you're diving, catching your own ball. It's like, hold the time out. <laughs> um, That's pretty good. Not many players can do that, by the way. So, so um, yeah. I saw you in Baltimore. I was with my little guy. We got a chance to come up and see you, and you're in the cage hitting. Did you change anything uh -huh. from a swing approach in Baltimore than, than maybe with the Yankees? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of it was to, to back off the plate and square up a little bit more and, um, you know, try to focus more on hitting the ball up the middle it is essentially what uh, they wanted me to kind of work on, um, you know, which kind of opened up uh, avenues of uh, me being able to hit the ball for extra base hits a little bit more. And, um, you know, it, 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 it was it was working. Did it help having uh, Santander, who's a switch hitter? Being able to discuss things with him, does that help you? Um, yeah, you know, uh, there's not many switch hitters around anymore. So, uh, of course, being able to talk to him day in and day out was fun. Um, you know, kind of, um, you know, kind of what he felt in his at-bat previous before I even got to have mine. You know, him hitting higher up in the order than I was uh, was also, uh, you know, nice to nice to have. Now, Aaron, I made the uh, the playoff hype video and the end-of-season <laughs> video for the Orioles with, with comments of doubt 
about their season. When you came into mm -hmm. that team, describe what the energy was like about them, because I kept thinking they're young. I don't know that I like the pitching enough. What was it like joining that please team? Please take a good Come, shot at him. Please, <laughs> please. Coming in from the outside to see it, what was that like? Uh, it was fun. It was, it was honestly fun. Um, as soon as I got in there, um, you know, it, it was, it, like I said, like a, a burst of energy kind of, kind of went through me, um, just having all the young players there and, and seeing their excitement to play baseball every single day, um, to, and the urge to win, um, you know, day in and day out, it was, was, I mean, essentially all I needed to, to be comfortable and um, knowing that the front office and the coaching staff were, were all on the same uh, page as me as far as, you know, trying to play every single day and, and get out there and, you know, um, go back and prove my worth. Yeah, no, it's always nice when you get traded to a club because then it's, they wanted me here and they had a role for mm -hmm. you to play. So that's always a nice feeling. As you head to free agency, clearly somebody's going to sign you who wants you there. What are clubs talking to you about? What, how are they vi viewing you as we head to 2024? Uh, I mean, uh, it just more of just the veteran presence, uh, being able to, you know, obviously um, talk to young guys and um, and kind of, you know, help them in ways to, to, to be better. And, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, go there and play and, um, being a switch hitter is, uh, isn't, isn't, uh, you know, normal nowadays. So go there and be able to, you know, do my best on both sides of the plate. So, uh, let's turn it back to golf. All right. We start off the discussion there. Uh, Steve talked about you being able to hit a golf ball. We got some video. So I want to see mm -hmm. Aaron Hicks swing a glove. Ooh, oh, that, swing wow. It, huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah. I got, I got that one pretty good. Oh, that not hurt. <laughs> wow, but you got a pretty swing, wow. man. Yeah, that's a good swing. How, how long have you been golfing? I mean, I mean, I grew I grew up playing golf. We've seen. So uh, I grew up playing golf. Started around five. Uh, stopped when I was thirteen, which is when I picked up baseball, and then didn't pick it up again until I turned pro. So. Uh, playing, Hold it, stop playing right golf. there. Stop oh. right there, Aaron. <laughs> you were a golfer, not a baseball player. <laughs> until you yes, were 13. Yes. Did yes, I get that I spent, right? Wow. Yes, I spent most of uh, my childhood playing golf. Wow. <laughs> wow. No wonder mm -hmm. you got a great swing. I mean, it's a, it is that, a good That is an swing. amazing yeah, no story. About that. So, so you also, your dad played pro baseball. You grew up in some yes. baseball clubhouses. So... Mm -hmm. What, what, when, how early were you going to clubhouses, and why weren't you playing baseball until 13? Two things uh, in one. Well, I didn't really. <laughs> well, I didn't really get to go in uh, baseball clubhouses. Um, you know, my that was my brother. My brother got to go to baseball clubhouses, but for me, uh, I right as I was born, my dad was picking up golf, so that's kind of why he transitioned me more into the golf world because. Um, you know, what he was practicing is what he was teaching me. So basically I would go to school. Uh, my dad would be at home watching the golf channel and whatever he learned that day is what I would learn, uh, <laughs> you know, when I, when I get done with school. So was there a point you said, Hey dad, I'd like to play some baseball. I mean, clearly it worked out pretty good, but when, when did that happen? Uh, I mean, it, it kind of happened during, um, it's funny. I got, I got a nice little story. Uh, I told my dad I wanted to um, get some brand new clubs, right? So, you know, the brand new ping eyes uh, irons that just came out. And, you know, being a young kid, this is the club that I wanted. Uh, so I told my dad, hey, if I win a tournament, can I, can I get these clubs or whatever? And uh, I ended up winning a tournament. My dad wasn't quite ready to, to give me these clubs. So I was like, you know what? I'm quitting. I'm going to baseball. So I go to baseball. <laughs> and my dad's like, no, we're not doing this. Um, so whatever. I go to my tryout. I'm trying out for the club. I've never really played much baseball at all. Um, I'm hitting right-handed. Uh, I did pretty good. And uh, the team calls the house and, you know, my dad is excited, um, but he's not telling me he's excited. So we end up going into <laughs> uh, <laughs> my first practice and he's like, all right, Aaron, you know, if you want to play baseball, then you're going to have to hit left-handed, right? And I've never done anything left-handed in my life. 
So, so he's uh, trying to I, discourage I, you yeah, by making yeah, it so left-handed. So funny, make him hit left-handed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's trying to stop me from from playing golf, uh, from playing baseball, and uh, he just forgot how hard-headed he made me with playing uh, playing golf for so long that I'm going to do whatever possible to make sure that I'm good at this, and. Uh, <laughs> That's essentially how I became a switch hitter. That's uh, amazing. My dad wanted me to go right back to golf. And uh, I, I started to love baseball so much to the point where I was going to do everything possible to make sure I was good. That wow. is incredible. His, is his, his dad played with my older brother, Don. Really? In, in the Padres system. So that's why I knew mm -hmm. about Aaron way back Interesting. when. Interesting. Interesting. And I can't believe your dad did that to you. But it, hey, it worked out pretty good. <laughs> yeah. How about Adley Rushman? I understand yes. Adley Rushman is a pretty good golfer as well. Uh, and uh, and have you played with Adley? And because we've got some video of Adley hitting a golf ball right here, that's pretty impressive. Yes. Uh, no, I haven't. But I saw, <laughs> I have seen that video, and uh, yes, that's that's a very strong swing by Adley. I know. I see him got the swag. <laughs> I got the get it. Oh, okay, Adley. Okay. A little swag to go with it too. Okay, I like it. Uh, now, have you ever done the gritty after a golf shot? No, 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 I, uh, not, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Aaron, I'd love to see you return to the Orioles, man. That was a nice fit. So uh, hopefully yeah, they're I in the mix of your free agent conversations. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely enjoyed my time there. That's for sure. That no. may be the best switch hitter story I've ever heard. That's though. a great story. That, that is, is a good story right there. <laughs> amazing. Uh, Aaron, thanks so much for giving us time. Great to catch up. Good luck mm -hmm. in the golf tournament uh, coming up over the weekend. All the best to you. Good luck in free agency as well. And hopefully we'll talk again soon.